Hi there, my name is Eric Johansson. I'm here to show you about a project here at Intellectual Ventures Lab called Photonic Fence. In short, what this project is all about is shooting mosquitoes with lasers. And, uh, you know, this may sound like an outlandish plan, however, uh, it turns out that, that uh, combating malaria is actually a very difficult problem. Uh, to that end, we've been doing a bunch of research related to this, and uh, we actually think that it may actually be economically feasible to use high-tech solutions to combat something that's been around for a long time. Combating malaria in Africa is, is a very tricky problem. This may in fact not be a very good solution, but we're looking very closely at it to see if it's economically possible. The way the system works effectively is it uses a bunch of uh, LEDs. These are actually infrared LEDs that uh, illuminate a scene. The scene predominantly includes a retroreflective surface. This is the same stuff that street signs are made out of, uh, and when your headlights hit them, they light right up. Well, effectively, these are our headlights, and way down there, we have a retroreflective surface. That surface basically returns a bunch of light back to where we are right here. In the center, we have a lens. This lens is hooked up to a normal um, CMOS sensor. It could be a CCD, it doesn't really matter. The whole point in this is that we get a really strong silhouette of anything that passes through here. By capturing a not ridiculous high, highly frame rate, we're running at about 150 frames a second, we can actually very clearly see any mosquitoes or insects that pass through this field of view. So, in the basic project idea is to uh, set up a whole series of fence posts. And these fence posts would be set up in an area between where mosquitoes are and where humans are to uh, reduce their effective population. Once we um, can see where they are, we track them using basic image recognition and machine vision technologies, which have been around for quite some time. And then we use uh, any number of different beam steering technologies in order to point uh, a laser pointer at the insect. So we can see where they are in space, we shoot a low power laser at them. What we get back is actually a very strong retroreflected signal that's bouncing off the same retroreflector that we use for imaging and where they are. This goes into a secondary sensor. In this case, we're using a photodiode. What that does for us is it provides very, very fast, very accurate, sometimes noisy, but very accurate uh, information about their wing beat frequency. This is actually really critical for one of our high-level project goals, which is to be very personal in what we do to uh, the environment. So, for example, we only want to impact uh, pests or things that are harmful, such as mosquitoes or other related insects, but we don't want to harm things that are good for us, like bumblebees, for example. So, <clears throat> in essence, uh, by picking up the wing beat frequency, we can confirm the genus and species of the insect. So, we know whether this is a harmful critter or a friendly critter. That um, is really, uh, really about it to doing you know, insect identification. In addition to other sort of metadata we can collect this way, you know, optically, which includes like the size of the insect, uh, the flight pattern, the speed, etc. By collecting all these different metrics, we can actually get a, a pretty good idea um, what, uh, what sort of insect we may be dealing with. So now we know where it is and what it is, then we get to decide whether or not we want to uh, still have it around. So we use a higher powered laser that um, basically focuses a whole lot of photons to a very fine point wherever they are. The net result of this is that we can uh, reduce their lifespan or kill them. So um, let me flip over and I'll show you a quick demonstration of how the system works. So this view shows uh, what the camera sees. The computer basically processes this optical information that it's receiving through the camera and tries to pick out where all the insects are. As you can see here, the mosquitoes that are flying around are getting close to the little box, so that's tracking every insect in our field of view. If I move over to this next screen, you can see that specific insects are being targeted for identification. What that does is it basically fires the laser using a, a galvo to steer the beam. This uh, retroreflected signal off the laser allows us to actually not only pick up the, the wing beat frequency, which is displayed down here in the corner, but it also allows us to hear them because we pump the same signal information out through audio. So this is what it sounds like. It sounds a little bit like a mosquito, but the point is that we need to get the core frequency. The mosquito here in red is actually the one that we're hearing right now in real time. 